Good morning. Polls show Democratic Senator Kay. This morning, polls show Senator Kay Hagan is in a dead heat with her Republican challenger, Senate uh, State House Speaker Tom Tillis. North Carolina is one of 10 battleground states that could decide which party controls. Uh, here is what happened in the debate. You voted with President Obama 95% of the time. I want people to know I am the most moderate senator in the nation. The nonpartisan National Journal has ranked me that because of my ability to work across the aisle and get things done. Kay Hagan's voted with President Obama 95% of the time. I think the real answer is, is she probably regrets the fact that she's been a rubber stamp for Harry Reid and Barack Obama. I disagree with the Hobby Lobby decision. Speaker Tillis agrees with it. It does allow employers to deny access to birth control for their female employees. Speaker Tillis has defunded Planned Parenthood. Um, the, the only state I know of that's actually done that. I tell you, when I look at Speaker Tillis's record on women, it is abysmal. Uh, we go now to Nora O'Donnell, who is in North Carolina, and I certainly hope you enjoy North Carolina. <laughs> and you did a great job last night. Tell me what we expect to hear more of going <laughs> forward. Hey, good morning to you guys. It's great to be here in Raleigh. And let me just first to say, it was an honor uh, to moderate this debate. But Charlie, I think they were a little disappointed that their hometown <laughs> hero, Charlie Rose, wasn't here. Said, How's Charlie oh, doing? I, I, How's Charlie I bet doing? They were plenty <laughs> pleased to see you rather than me. But anyway, um, it, it's a great state, and, yeah. and this is one of the you know, important it was, races. It was really. It is one of the most important races, Senate races in the country. It could decide which party controls the United States Senate. You know, there are seven Democratic held seats that Mitt Romney won in 2012, so they're very close. This race here in North Carolina, it's actually the second most expensive race in the country. They've already spent some $30 million. And as you heard in those clips from the debate last night, Senator Hay Kay Hagan, the Democrat, is being branded as a rubber stamp for President Obama. That's how her challenger, the House Speaker Tom Tillis, said she voted with the, the president 95 percent of the time. On the flip side, she's tying him to an unpopular Republican legislature here in North Carolina. What's the bigger picture? I mean, I think the really interesting thing is the debate about whether it's um, potential executive action by the president on immigration reform. Also, the issue of minimum wage. The minimum wage here in North Carolina is $7.25 an hour. That is the same as the federal minimum wage. Already today in this state, it's all over the local news, there are debates about raising the federal minimum wage, protests outside McDonald's and other fast food shops. So that's kind of an issue that you see percolating out there. And people are watching this race because if the Democratic incumbent senator here starts to dip in the polls, that will mean also elsewhere that Republicans have a very strong shot at taking the U.S. Senate. It is a very important race. Nora, safe travels. We'll see you here tomorrow. Oh, I'd spend a couple of days down there if I were you. <laughs> Gail. Yes. Before, before, Gail, 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 before you say goodbye, I just wanted to show you because they brought us some really nice catering here this morning. I know you like those cronuts, but this, this, is, this is a bagel and a donut that they brought us here. So I'm calling it a bow nut. What do you think? <laughs> I'm thinking that's some good eating, and I'm thinking and Southern hospitality of... is alive and well. Indeed. Southern hospitality. And if it's not enough, you can have cream cheese with it. All right, Nora O'Donnell. There you go. Thank you. See, she does breakfast too.